Hi, my name is Paul McNulty and I'm the founder of 3D Issue and today I wanted to give you a quick overview of our new product 3D Issue Hubs. Unlike our flipbook tool which converts PDFs into e-replications, Hubs creates publications by sourcing content from online sources such as your blogs, your RSS feed, Google Alerts, even your social channels such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can even email content in. And what Hubs does is it creates publications by constantly checking those sources to see if there's any new content and then in real time pulling that content down and pushing it to your publication. So each time your reader opens that publication, they're ensured that it's read they're reading the latest news. And it also ports that content in such a manner that it doesn't matter which device your reader chooses to consume that content on, the content will automatically reshape to suit that format. So it's an auto-updating responsive publication. Let me give you a quick demonstration. Let's first of all give our hub a name. So 3D issue news. Okay, so I'm going to create two sections and the first section I'm just going to call news and the second section I will call social. So in the news section I'm very quickly going to add an RSS feed and if you don't know the exact URL to your feed on your website it doesn't matter. Simply enter the name and we will do a quick search. As you can see 3D issue feed was found straight away. Now for the social section let me add in two very quick samples. I'll add in the 3D issue Facebook page and let us add in the YouTube sample. Now in the next section I'll go into each option in more detail but very quickly just click next. So I have two sections created and you will see a preview being built here on the right hand side. So there you go, you can see a publication has very quickly been created. Now in the customization section uh, we give you a variety of options. First of all you can choose your layout. So we have two different types. We have the news layout which is a format uh, which is perfect for news walls where it it meshes all of your content together and at the top it always has the latest content irrelevant or irregardless of whatever source it came from the latest news is always displayed first. If you wanted to go for a more traditional publication style layout or newsletter layout we have the newsletter option here where each is broken into uh, the section so if you recall we created two sections news and social so as you can see here we have the news section first and then the social section and each section then allows you to delve further into that content so let's stick with news wall uh, and then for branding we can jump through and add in our own logos and backgrounds and choose our own colors and fonts and so on and once you've customize it to your look and feel you simply click next and this brings you to the manage article section where you can choose to edit articles hide particular articles or even choose an article as the lead article into your publication and once you're done simply click next and your publication is ready to go and then you can link to the publication embed it on your website or share it through your social network. Um, once you're done I'll just click view here so we can show you the publication in real time and there you go. Now notice as I adjust the resolution you will see that the content automatically reshapes to suit that resolution. And if I wanted to narrow that down to a particular section I just click on the section and this will show me all of the content. I can click on an article and then it will jump in and show me the full article and as I get to the bottom of each section I simply click the next article to view the next article. And in a nutshell that's our hubs tool. Thanks very much for allowing me this time to give you a quick overview of our hubs tool and we look forward to hearing from you directly and working with you as you build your hub.